Should I still avoid standard folders if I'm not using OneDrive? Hey everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Here's the question. Since I've set up Windows 11 and am using a local user account and refuse to have anything to do with OneDrive, can I still use the default document folders, downloads, documents, pictures, music, videos, for storing and saving, or should I unpin them and add new folders? I advise against using the standard Windows folders. I have a couple of reasons for doing that. One is just a matter of how I like my data organized, but the other boils down to trust, or rather, a lack thereof. The issue, of course, is that the OneDrive backup feature might move the contents of your Windows standard folders, documents, pictures, etc., into OneDrive. On the surface, the advice is simple. Don't use that feature. Unfortunately, it's easy to turn the feature on without realizing you've turned the feature on. And at that point, well, the damage is done. The next level of advice, of course, is not to use OneDrive at all. Ideally, that means uninstalling it completely. Unfortunately, that's not an option for everyone. OneDrive is, after all, a useful tool when used properly. Even the backup feature could be useful if you know what it does and are okay with how it operates. Signing in with a local account and never using a Microsoft account is another way to sidestep the issue. However, as strange as it sounds, that might still not be enough. Even if I turn off or avoid the OneDrive backup feature, I don't trust that Microsoft won't turn it back on or, or likely, fool me into turning it on. If I've uninstalled the OneDrive app on my computer, I don't trust that Microsoft won't reinstall it in a future update. If I don't sign in to the OneDrive app on my computer with a Microsoft account, again, one way to keep it from doing its job, I don't trust Microsoft not to sign me in anyway if I use a Microsoft account for any other reason on my computer. Signing in with a local account is protection, to be sure, but I worry that signing into anything else, say a Microsoft service online, might connect OneDrive as a side effect. Even with OneDrive completely out of the picture, Microsoft has shown that it's willing to alter how the standard folders work in confusing and potentially destructive ways with that OneDrive backup feature. I don't trust Microsoft not to do something unrelated to OneDrive, but still involving the standard folders in the future. So, yeah, there's a theme. I just don't trust Microsoft not to do something destructive in the future. Now, the other issue I have is less, I'll say, conspiratorial and more pedantic. One thing that's come to light because of the OneDrive backup feature fiasco, is that so many applications also use those folders for their default storage, sometimes in ways that cannot be avoided. That's fine for them, I suppose. Some have indeed suffered from OneDrive's shenanigans, but that's not my real issue. Even though I'm not using it myself, my documents folder is a mess. There are over a dozen folders created by applications I use or have used, all containing who knows what. In checking the folder as I record this or wrote the original article for this, I found many files that I didn't even recognize. Like I said, it's a mess. And again, that's fine for the programs that end up using it. There are certainly some legit reasons to do so. I just don't want my stuff to be part of that mess. Now, it's an easy, easy thing to avoid. Let me show you exactly what I mean. We're here in Windows, Windows 11, as it turns out. And here's Windows File Explorer. I'll use the documents here for this one as one example. If I look at the properties for this one, you'll see that its location is in C colon users Leon. That is the standard location for the standard documents folder when you're not using OneDrive. So that's the scenario we're in. We're not using OneDrive, but we still have these standard folders. 
What I'd rather do is go over to my C drive, create a new top level folder. I will call it my stuff. In my stuff, I will create a new folder called documents. And now I might move everything from this documents folder, the default documents folder, to this documents folder that I've created. If I do this with a cut and I go back to my local disk C, my stuff, documents, paste, now everything's been moved over. The original documents folder is empty and I can unpin it from quick access and instead go back to my documents folder, the one that I've created that is in my control and pin it to quick access instead. And it will show up here. You'll notice that it has the default folder location because it's losing that little bit of specialness that Windows gives it, but it is my documents folder, not the default documents folder, not the standard documents folder. It's mine. Now, I happened to put this on my C drive. Honestly, you could put it on whatever drive you want. A lot of people actually do explicitly move things from their C drive to another drive, specifically so that they can back up things separately. Or if you reinstall Windows from scratch, you've not overwritten all of your data because your data is on a separate drive. That's an organizational aspect that I will leave up entirely to you. But this is one other argument for separating out your default or your standard folders to be instead your own. Now, there is one other thing that a lot of people tend to talk about that I want to uh, debunk because they think they're doing something that they're not. Since I've already moved my documents folder, I'm going to use the pictures folder here. If I right click on pictures and again, look at properties and I now click on this location tab, you'll see that it has a location of users Leon pictures. Yeah. It's the standard location for a standard, a, one of the Windows standard folders, in this case called Pictures. You can move it. That's great. You can move it wherever you want. Here's the problem with moving it this way. It is still a Windows standard folder. It's just a Windows standard folder in a different location. That means it is still subject to every one of the trust issues I listed above. and all of the other applications that are using the standard default location will continue to use it in its new location. In other words, this is fine if you want to do this. Don't get me wrong, but don't think for a minute that it's solving any of the problems we're really trying to solve. There is one interesting question that comes up when I start talking about trusting Microsoft. If I don't trust Microsoft to handle my default folders correctly, how can I trust them not to muck about with my files, regardless of where I place them? It's a very, very valid point. In fact, it's a point that I've made to many people who are concerned about exposing their data to Microsoft via the cloud. Let's face it, you don't need to put your files in OneDrive. Microsoft already has access to everything on your computer. It's Microsoft Windows, after all. If you don't trust them with files in OneDrive, then why do you trust them with files on your PC? I'm in a similar position, but it's about organization, not privacy. My rationalization is simply this. I can kind of sort of understand the design decisions that went into the OneDrive backup feature. In no way do I come close to agreeing with them, but I can understand the misguided path that led them there. One key aspect is that all machines have a standard layout that they could then assume and rely on for that feature to be implemented. It would be easy for them to use that standard layout for other misguided adventures in the future. I don't want to risk that. Hence, my decidedly non-standard approach to organizing my files works for me. Could they stomp on it someday? I suppose they could, but it seems significantly less likely than they're making assumptions about an organization that they can find on every machine. 
Time will tell. Bottom line, when setting up a system, I prefer to keep these folders out of Microsoft's default hands. Their actions with OneDrive have just added more reasons for me to feel that way. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 183327. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.